I know that some of you that are watching aren't from Louisiana. And if you're wondering why we didn't do our weekly Wednesday night video last week, well, it was because we had a unwanted guest and her name is Hurricane Ida. She left a lot of damage in Louisiana. She left us with no power and a big mess to clean up. And you know, as me and Jerry were repairing fences, cutting trees, picking up limbs, etc., part of me wanted to complain. But I thought of this scripture, 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. It says, be joyful always, pray continually, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. You know, every time I got disgusted, and it happened quite a few times over the last week and a half, uh, I would count my blessings instead of complaining. You see, God has been so good to me. And I, I want to thank him for all the good things he's done in my life. And so every time I would think about complaining, it would almost, I would almost feel embarrassed. You know, sometimes God may allow us to lose something so that when we get it back, we appreciate it more than ever with simple things like, I don't know, electricity, yeah. not waiting for a half a mile line at the gas station, you know, good home-cooked food. And that's just to name a few. So, the next time that old devil puts complaining about your circumstances on your mind, try counting your blessings instead. It works. <laughs> yeah, you're right. 
We got no business complaining. It could have been much worse. And without a doubt, God protected us. Amen. You know, Christian people are thankful because we realize how much we've been given. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 2, it says that in it says in the last days there will be a lack of thanksgiving. It says wicked people will be ungrateful. Being, being thankful, it moves our focus off of ourselves and off of painful circumstances. And it helps us to remember that God is in control. You know, that's what it means in the, when in, in the Bible it says God is sovereign. It means that he is in total control. He is running things, all things, here and now. And the thing is, he has provided a way for us to have eternal life, and that's through his son, Jesus. And he's inviting lost people to come to the Savior. He's calling Christian people that are backslidden to return to him. And he's calling our nation to return to him. Jesus said, whosoever will may come. The door is open now, but one day it won't be. It'll be too late. God is calling this nation to come back to him. Are your eyes open? Do you see the signs? Who? You know, with all that being said, Saturday is the 20th anniversary of 9-11. And we're patriots. We love our country. And what Jerry said, the only way for us to get back on track is through the Lord Jesus. This is truth. And we'll see you on the next video.